at any time and from, to, um, from time to time at the circumstances permit. Clause 2 of the order reads, the same special general assembly seating and or seatings of the Uganda Muslim Supreme Council as directed by this court shall be called by a person appointed by the petitioners and the special general assembly shall sit at a neutral venue. Thirdly, the said special general assembly shall be presided over by a neutral and independent chairperson who shall be appointed by the said special general assembly at its, its, at its first sitting as directed by this honorable court. Pursuant to that, I received a letter of authorization from the three petitioners, that is Burhani, sorry, Babide Yudaya, Burhani Samanya, and Hussein Simba, appointing me as their agent to call this August Assembly. The letter of authorization is signed by all persons and is also commissioned. Still pursuant to that, I wrote an invitation later, it's dated 15th, inviting all members of the Uganda Muslim Supreme Council General Assembly for this meeting. And that letter was particular, it attached the order of the court, it also attached the letter of authorization that I've just showed you, it also stated that that meeting shall be held today, the 16th, and it shall be held at this place. So we are not here by default. We are here upon an order of court and rest your fear, we are legally protected. So, my role is twofold. The first role was to call the assembly. That I've done. And you've honored my invitation by appearing here. Okay? My second assignment is to ensure that this August House has a neutral and independent chairperson who shall preside over the assembly. Those are my two functions today. The first one I have fulfilled. I have invited you here. You've answered to that call. The second one I'm going to assist you in appointing that neutral person. The order of the court says the neutral person shall be appointed by the assembly itself. What does that mean? That means names shall be proposed and the names are seconded. If the name is proposed, if it's a single name or three names, whatever the number, then we shall agree on who shall preside over this assembly as that neutral person. Then I believe the neutral chairman can appoint the secretary to take over the matter and, and sorry, put down the proceedings of this matter, or sorry, of this uh, uh, sitting. We are here, and this our state, this our state as a lawyer. I'm not an interested party, but at least I've read the constitution of the Uganda Muslim Supreme Council. The constitution under Article 1, sub Article 1, is very clear. It's just like the constitution of the Republic of Uganda, which says all power shall lie in the people. This constitution states, the Uganda Muslim Supreme Council constitution states that the General Assembly is the supreme body of the Uganda Muslim Supreme Council and all powers shall lie in the General Assembly. It is up to you. It is up to you. It is up to you. And the order of the court was very clear. It did not restrict which affair shall be discussed by the General Assembly. The complainants, when you look at the judgment, sorry, the, rest, the petitioners, when you look at the judgment, they highlighted quite a number of issues that they were aggrieved with. In fact, to them, they were asking that the company, as registered by Uga in the name Uganda Muslim Supreme Council, should be dissolved. But the court said no. That will be doing more harm than good. What the court in its wisdom did, and rightly so, is to refer back all the grievances, all the affairs, all the, the, the disputes back to the General Assembly. Okay? 
So it's not by mistake, it's not by default or anything that the court chose the General Assembly to look into the affairs generally. It did so because that is your constitutional mandate. That is your constitutional right. The General Assembly is a small unit that represents the bigger perspective of the Muslim community in Uganda. You're here not as individuals. You're here representing the, constitu the constituencies where you're coming from. Okay? Whatever that you, you deliberate on, whatever resolutions that you make, make them in the interest of the bigger Muslim community that you represent. You will set your own agenda uh, with the guidance and pretendence of the chairman that you shall appoint. You will make resolutions and you will file those resolutions before a court as the order of the court directs. That is my personal opinion. Moving forward, I request members to propose names of those persons you think are neutral and independent to preside over this August Assembly as the chairperson. Go ahead. My duty, my duty was to follow the order of the court. My duty was to follow the order of the court. The order of the court was very clear. It did not state that the quorum should be majority or minority. It stated, it directed that, it, it directed that let a general assembly be called immediately. I've done that duty. You're here pursuant to an order of the court. An order of the court is legal until set aside, until annulled, or until otherwise. So you're here pursuant to an order of the court. And I'm here to implement my instructions pursuant to an order of the court. Okay, I'll, I, I won't entertain any other questions. I'll only look into the affairs of uh, proposing names for who shall preside over this assembly as... And upon suggestion from the members of the assembly and secondment from the members of the assembly, announce Haj Badru Sabila as the independent neutral chairperson to preside over the proceedings of this special general assembly as directed by the Honorable Court.
where is he's the gentleman Haj Sebila he's not part of okay then uh, then we shall have to communicate to him we can take a short adjournment we're going to prayers then after that we shall he shall take it up from there inshallah assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh